Okay, welcome back to the WordPress basics video. Now, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you how you can jazz up your pages kind of with bolding, italics, and underlines. Um, so you can either do this when you're creating a new page or you can just go in and edit a page like I'm going to do right now. Okay, now the first thing, as you'll notice right here, okay, Above where we type in our content, there's all kinds of things. There's all kinds of buttons and links and things that we can do. And if you click on this, it's called Show Hide the Kitchen Sink. What that's going to do is that's going to show us even more things. Like I can underline, I can change formats of things, I can change colors, I can do all kinds of things. I can remove formatting from an area, I can indent things, I can center things. So I just want to show you right now, you can check spelling. I just want to show you right now a couple of things that we can do. So if you want to highlight something, okay, with say a bold, it's going to be just like using a word processor. I'm sure you're familiar with that. You just highlight the text that you want, okay, and then just click on the bold. And you can see pages become bold. Now I can also, I can underline things by just clicking the underline. I can italic things, put things in italics, and I can also make things bold, italics, and underline. Okay? It's very neat the way this works. It's pretty much just like a, any old word processor. Okay? Um, all that you need to do is use these buttons here. You have an undo feature right here. Like I said, you can add, you can check the spelling. We can go ahead and we can select this first paragraph here and we can decide to put that in the middle. We can right justify it. We can left justify it. We can put quotes around everything. We can get rid of the quotes. We can make it into bullets. We can make it into numbers. There's just all kinds of really neat things that you can do from right inside of WordPress to make things look fun. Now, the important thing to do, though, is you got to make sure after you've done this that you click on this update button. I can't tell you how many times I've updated a page, forget to hit the update button, and I lose all the changes that I've made. But you can see what these changes look like. Like You can see it's, it's dressed things up a bit. I've bold, I've italicized things, I've underlined them. And like I said, you can even change colors right here. We can change that. Let's make that a red. We'll make this a green. Okay. And you can really make your pages come to life with just, you know, a few clicks here and there. All right. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how that you can add hyperlinks into your posts and your pages. I'll see you in the next video.